My name's Ethan, and I live in Blair County, PA, and you're watching Live to Thrill. Yellow! Alright, everybody. I'm heading to go get my last wisdom tooth pulled out of my freaking mouth. This one is the most painful one, I reckon, because they gotta cut it out. But well, thanks to Jim Bob for taking me. Appreciate it, man. So, before I go get this tooth yanked out of my mouth, cut out of my mouth, I'm gonna go ahead and roll the footage from my unsuccessful turkey hunt so far. <laughs> and I don't have much of it because uh, there just wasn't much to film. So uh, I'll go ahead and roll that crust and then we'll come back and I'll probably be on drugs or about to get my tooth pulled. Let's do it. Yeah, <clears throat> morning ladies and gentlemen. It's early six o'clock. I should be down there right now, but I'm about to walk down right now. Sunrise is in 45 minutes. Or sunrise is in an hour, but we'll be down there soon, so. Getting something to eat in me, and uh, hopefully we'll see some turkeys today. Making a lap around the field. I think the other one left. They came in on my bad side. They basically popped out right next to me at like, I don't know, 80, 90 yards. Totally caught me off guard. I did not think any of them were going to come from that way. At one point, they were about 100 yards in front of me. And I was thinking about bum rushing them, but they just. I don't know, from the looks of it, they seem to only have like three, four inch beards and they are both Tom, or both Jake, so. In two seconds, Job, I'm sorry. Hey buddy, what's your name? Uh, Job. Job? Yeah. Well, howdy, man. <laughs> what's up? He made his Bob. Job Cobain, he's named after Kurt Cobain and Job from the time in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. That's Kurt Cobain and Job in the Bible, two completely different things, but <laughs> turned out this guy right here. Sweet man. Yeah, let's get a picture, dude. I'm gonna hold that. Mm -hmm. uh, Guys, this is so great of you because he was just over just, I'm like, I'm just gonna get out of your ass. Uh, I talk to people every day of my life. <laughs> and like I said, I have like a cheap generic phone. I'm sorry. So it's all good. Stupid. No problem. Like Appreciate it. Hey, look for yourself on the video tomorrow, man. Right. Have a good one, guys. See ya. You guys have a blessed day. Thank you. Me too. All right, guys. Back on the G7X now. It's hard to keep that freaking DSLR running all dang day. But, uh, well, I'm going to head down to the property. I'm going to do some night hunting tonight. Or I'm going to hunt this evening for turkeys. And um, if any of y'all have ever hunted turkeys before in the evening, you know, you're not supposed to call as much. Um... You know, it's usually best to hunt out of a blind. Uh, it's a completely different turkey from, you know, the morning. So I've got a couple blinds here, so I'm going to go set one blind up um, in kind of a feeding area that they uh, they always, usually I got them on the cameras at. So set it up there and see, you know, sit out there for a couple hours tonight and see if we have any luck. And then I'll be back out there in the morning or whatever. But, um, man, I've been seeing a lot of freaking, uh, not carcasses, but... You know, because I think the coyotes are taking the carcasses away, but I've been seeing a lot of destruction down there, and I'm hoping all the dang coyotes aren't uh, aren't running them off. So, but uh, yeah, let's go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set my blind up right here, right here. Uh, you know, we've uh, tilled all this and stuff, but we actually just started planting some stuff, and there's some seeds down. Uh, this morning, I seen the turkeys um feeding over here and on the cameras i got them feeding in here a little bit just on whatever picking up whatever grains they can find
Apparently they don't even care that I'm here. <laughs> All right, now I'm back out. Am I swelled up a little bit? Am I swelled up? Yeah, I'm not even on drugs. I thought they were gonna put me on some like actual ketamine or something like that, but no, just a couple shots. So it took like five minutes and they just popped it out. Uh, I don't even think I need to get pain pills because I think I already have some at home, so I think it should be good, but, um, head back home and take a nap, probably. Hey, everybody. God dang, man. I'm just resting up here, chilling like a villain, like a mule in a pool. But anyways, I figured... I don't know what kind of footage I have and all that crap, but vlogs have been down the past couple days because I got the wisdom tooth pulled and because, you know, as you know, if you've been watching for a while, when hunting season starts, it's hard for me to do much of anything because I'm out there usually and when I don't see nothing, I get depressed and all that crap. So. Here's a little rundown, because I, I didn't vlog much when all this crap was going on. First of all, it's so gosh dang hard to self-film a turkey hunt, because when you're turkey hunting, you can't freaking move. If you move, turkeys, some people, if you never turkey hunted, people think turkeys are dumb as hell. But, they're dumb as hell. I mean, they'll poke at a gosh dang dumb, fake ass decoy for a day, <laughs> for an hour, but they'll see you, your freaking eyes blink from across the gosh dang 500 yard field so you gotta be careful self filming yourself so I've been trying to use the damn GoPro on my shit on my damn rifle uh, or maybe my damn shotgun sorry I may or not may may or not may may or not be under the influence not of this though <laughs> you guys new mud jug mm -hmm. happy 420 anyways First day, first morning, I went out. I called in two Jakes. I didn't have my decoys out because I thought I had a hand decoy. Didn't have a hand decoy. They didn't come in because I didn't have hand decoys or I didn't have decoys out. I was in a transition area where they usually walk where I got them on camera, so I figured maybe I'd catch one of them walking. They decided to go around the field. They probably saw me. They came out on a side that I didn't think they were going to come in on. So they probably saw me. I was going to bum rush them. End up didn't doing that. That never usually works out well. Um, yeah. And then when I'm walking out on opening day, I stayed out to there about 10. I stayed out there like an hour and a half after I didn't hear nothing. Nothing was responding back. I was like, fuck it. It's getting hot as a son of a dick out here. It was like 80 degrees. So I walked in. When I'm walking in right by the freaking fence out of the gosh dang killing field, there's a gosh dang Tom there. And I got my hands full with camera equipment and shotguns and shit. And a freaking Tom just flew away right there. And I was like, son, bitch, he might have been. I was doing a extensive amount of calls at the end there and he, he might have been coming into that son of a bitch I don't know if he's just hanging around but that kind of pissed me off and then second day I go out second morning I go out didn't hear nothing you know uh, I located a couple and sat where I thought you know they were gonna be nothing and then I went out in the afternoon and I called in a gosh dang bearded hen ladies and gentlemen the first one I've ever seen in the wild a bearded hen man I it caught me off guard. I sat in the blind. For, I was in the blind for like five minutes. I I sit, I do my first call. I'm getting situated and everything like that. Out of nowhere, I'm. I, this is when I set up the blind. I wasn't in the trees, and I, uh, freaking, a bearded hen came up right underneath the blind, and I'm like, freaking looking, to make sure my decoys are all set up right and everything. And the freaking bearded hen's right there, and she goes. I'm like, oh shit! And she seen me, and she started running away. Of course, you know you're not allowed to kill a hen. Spring turkey season, you're not allowed any hens. But if it's a bearded hen, you can. If it's got a beard, you can. So I pick my shotgun up, and she's running away. I take one shot, missed her. I reckon she's probably 40 yards out, and uh, she flew away. Never saw her. Gosh dang again. That pissed me off. Turkey hunting's hard, y'all. Ain't no joke. Third day, I go out. Um, and uh, I called. I was calling in the morning. I got out there real freaking early. I had turkeys all around me gobbling like crazy from the trees. And uh, 
I heard a couple on each side of me fly down. So I start calling them over. I was calling at them for probably a good hour, hour and a half, and they kept getting closer and closer and closer from both sides. But they would not come into the gosh dang field. They would not. I switched up my calls. I switched from my box call to my slate call when I heard them. I like to switch. I like to do my box call because it's louder whenever they're farther away. And then when they get closer, I use my slate call. And then I use my mouth call a little bit too, kind of at the same time. You know, kind of have like two hands going at once, blah, blah, blah. And uh, they just wouldn't come in. Now, mind you, I do have coyotes all over the gosh dang camera. I have proof if you from a couple vlogs ago of gosh dang coyotes killing the freaking turkeys around here. So I don't know if they're spooked about something like that coming in the field. So it's been unsuccessful, but we still got a couple weeks left, so I'm excited about it. But. Tomorrow morning, it's supposed to be raining a little bit. My boy Justin's going to come out. We might go. Uh, might be sprinkling a little bit, which is usually good for turkey hunting around here when it's dreary out. They seem to like to walk around a lot and crap, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens, but uh, that's a dealio. Uh, sorry for that long windiness. But anyways, love you guys, and we're going to see you in the next one. Always remember to live to thrill.